Who are the pretenders and who are the contenders? We're more than halfway through the NFL season, but DraftKings Sportsbook is still pumping out unbeatable offers every single game. New customers can bet just five bucks on anything and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings isn't stopping there. All customers can take advantage of a sweetener offer every game day this October. Get in on all the football action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the app now and use code SHANNON. New customers can bet just $5 on anything and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for getting us to over a quarter million subscribers. We really, 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 really appreciate that today. I'm your favorite sports uncle. I'm the one that you love to come hang around in the cookouts and the family reunion because you know I got the great stories to tell. He's your favorite number 85. He's going to come over and tell you everything that you want to hear. You like hanging out. He's going to buy you ice cream. Probably give you a good tip, even though the service was terrible. <laughs> Chad Ocho, <laughs> Chad Ocho Seco Johnson, check this out, Ocho. On today's episode, we'll be giving away twenty five hundred dollars to one lucky commenter. <laughs> this is what needs to happen: you must be subscribed to win, and you must be active in the chat. Again, the rules: you must be subscribed to uh, Nightcap, and you must be active in the chat. Chat. Thank you again. Well, clicking that subscribe button, all you guys that have subscribed, go ahead, Ocho. I have a question. Yes. And I got my, I got my hand, I got my finger up, like you know, we in church, and you got to excuse yourself. Yes. I just, I just wanted to, to again, to thank the people for subscribing. I would like to thank them for helping us reach this milestone in such a short amount of time. Yep. But I was thinking, I want to reiterate what I talked about last episode about how about we up in the ante to make a little bit more beneficial for a special individual in, make, in making it 250K instead of 2,500. You do realize now, do, we're do, on three nights. You do realize we're on three nights a week. Probably yeah. over the course of a year, we're probably going to reach that number, Ocho. Right. Instead of giving it to one person or two right. people, how about right. we give it to like hundreds and, or thousands of people? Okay, so you want to you want to just go let, let's okay, how about this? How about this? You know, I'm 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 a I'm, I'm a giving I'm, I'm I'm a cheerful giver. So how about we do 2500 twice a month? Okay. But okay. probably it's going to be more that it's going to probably be geared to maybe, you know, five people on a on a given as opposed to just one. Tonight okay. we're just going to see how it goes. One lucky commenter is going to win 2500 bucks. Remember, you must be subscribed to win and you must be active in the chat. And to reiterate and to echo what Ocho said, Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for helping us reach this milestone. We also have Shea by Laportier pinned at the top. It is back in stock. Holidays are right around the corner. You got Thanksgiving and you got Christmas. And I'm sure there's some, uh, what is that, Scorpio, Sagittarius, I don't know, Capricorn. I don't know what it is, but I know somebody got some birthdays out there. So go ahead mm -hmm. and pick up your bottle for, I don't know if you're a Capricorn. I think Capricorn uh, uh, is December. Uh, January, uh, January 9th. January 9th, that's me. Capricorn. Uh, so yeah, so December. And so I don't know what uh November is. Sagittarius. I don't know. But anyway, thank you. Thank you again. And we're gonna get right into it, Ocho. Raiders beat the Jets. Uh I think the final score was what was the final score? 12 to 16 12. 16 12. 16 12. Yeah. Zach Wilson, mm -hmm. 23 of 39, 263, one pick. Jets were 0 for 1 in the red zone. Oh, mm -hmm. Aiden O'Connell for the Raiders was 16 of 27. 153, one touchdown, one pick. Take away from tonight's game. I mean, it was a sloppy game. It was a sloppy game from two teams that haven't been playing well all year. To me, obviously, um, Zach Wilson has to play better. He has to play better. There was on the interception, on the interception that Zach threw, if the people that were watching, you could see it was a, it was somewhat of a – stay with me, baby. It was a time and throw. It was a time and throw, and the backer going out to the flat ruined the timing of Lazard getting to the spot. And that's why Robert was is Robert. Yeah, Robert Spillane was able to pick that off. So he threw off the time in just a split second. And then the interception happened. The Jets did get the ball back and almost had an opportunity to try and score. But obviously they didn't. Um, the Raiders did what they needed to do. 
The Raiders did what they needed to do to win the game. And the fact they are, that they are playing the way they are for their new head coach, interim mm-hmm. head coach, Antonio Pierce, says a lot. Says a lot about the players. It says a lot about him and what he's been able to instill in those in those fellas in such a short amount of time. They were really, really sick of their head coach. Now that I've done a little bit more homework and talked to a few of the players on the team, they gave me a better assessment on how they really felt about McDaniels. And I didn't, I didn't know it was that bad. Obviously, on the outside looking in, after talking to a few players, you know, I'm yeah, not going to yeah. say any names. They said, yeah, we were sick and tired of that. And they was ready to, they was ready to he, fold. He's not a people's person. I talked to him when he was in Denver. I talked mm-hmm. to a lot of people, and they're not just on the team, not just players, right. but I'm talking right. about coaches. I'm talking about upper. I'm talking about people mm-hmm. just in the building, and I'm not going to say what they called him, but let's just say he's not a good person, and nobody was sad to see him go. That being said, um, Ocho, I told you at the beginning of the year, right? Um, you know, in the nutrition world, they say you can't, you can't out-exercise a bad diet. In football, you can't overcome bad quarterback play. Consistent bad quarterback play. I don't care how great your defense is. And I tried to tell you that. And the Jets has an outstanding defense. But eventually you'll wear down. And it's hard to play like that Mm -hmm. when your quarterback is like this. The reason why he picked it, look, Spillane is the middle backer. He picked the spot route because he stared him down. Ocho, from the time he caught the ball, he never took his eyes off Lazard. He's in the middle of the field. He's like, I oh, that's where you're going. He never right. he never looked at Lazard. He just mm-hmm. took off to a spot. Right. But again, if you if you watch the replay again, yes, the back of going to the flat. I'm not sure what number five name was. He ran into Lazard and threw off the timing to him, Lazard Lazard getting to the spot. So right. Zach was already letting it go because he anticipated him already yes. being there. But when 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 the backer ran this Lazard a little bit, it threw off the timing for a split second. That split second is all it took. But again, you're right. He does have to play better. <laughs> he has to minimize the turnovers and give his team a chance to win a game. And today he did, he didn't do that. It's really hard to play football like that because I was in the offense like that. That's why we were in the Ravens. We knew mm. if we got a lead, right. Raiden would tell us, "Hey, Shay, give us a seven, give us ten, give us ten early, mm. and mm-hmm. don't turn it over." We yeah. knew if we got up seven. Without a scoop and score or a pick six, you couldn't beat us. Right. You, there's no way you could drive 80 yards. You couldn't mm-hmm. drive 80 yards to get a field goal, and you damn sure weren't going to drive 75, 80 yards to get a touchdown. That right. wasn't going to happen. So, But to understand, Ocho, it's hard to play because you're playing for one play. You're hoping to have the perfect play called and mm-hmm. catch the defense out of position just right. once. That's right. all you got to do. And for him, he's just like – I mean, there, there are certain things that just comes along with playing – but like mm-hmm. you said, just looking off, you you these guys move with eyes. Their oh, formation, yeah. they see. Hey, oh, yeah. you, that's why you see guys. That's what the really good ones can do. They'll mm-hmm. look over here and knowing mm-hmm. they're going over there, all they yeah. try to do is move one person. I, ha- I have a question. Go ahead on a on a on such a short route. Yes, and he was already. I think was he already in the gun. Do you yeah. have time? Do you have time to look forward just to hold that linebacker there and then come back to your spot route? You have time all to do you, that? Yes, you do. Because all you want to do, all you want to do is catch it. You want to keep your eyes downfield. You know right. you either go into the swing or the spot. You right, already, right. You know when you go, it's kind of like that's why you have the advantage on the D- DB because you know what route you want to run. Want. Right, 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 right. Even though he might, okay, this is a formation. Okay, I mm-hmm. know patterns, but he still is guessing. You know, mm-hmm. absolutely, I got to dig. I got right. the out. I got right. the bang. You already know that. Right. He knows he's swinging it or he's going to the spot. When I ain't got to look at it. Mm-hmm. It's just like you. You don't got to look at the spot like, man, let's see. Okay, I got a 10. I got a 12 yard. I got a 10 roll to 12. I'm looking at right. that. You don't got to look at that because you already know what you got. Don't no. You, you right, don't got to right, look right. at that spot. You're right. And that, but that just comes along with timing. Uh, the only thing I'm going to say is, AP, your team played really hard. Mm-hmm. Don't take this game from them. You run that football, make them burn that final timeout and punt mm-hmm. it. You do not let them hang on to that timeout. Right. Don't, 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 they fought too hard. Don't you take that a game from them. Don't right. try to be a hero. Look at what you got now. You got a rookie quarterback. Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Hey, I will trust them. Right. In that I situation. Tr- yes. In that yes. Situation, yeah, yes. But more times than not, okay, third and say say it's third and two. Mm. But I'm running the football, Ocho. I'm I, they're not hanging on to that timeout. Right. You're gonna burn that timeout. 
You're right. going to get this ball back with no timeouts. And if you go down there and get a touchdown, that's on that's my on defense. Me. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. on my defense. Right. But there's no way that was supposed to happen. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh man, dang! They, we sold out again. You sold man. out that fast? We we <laughs> we just finished. They just restocked it, Ocho. They just restocked it. Wait, you sold out that fast already? I sold out that fast already. Are right, we gonna make sure we have it back up there for you tomorrow? Guys. Make sure we have it back up there for you tomorrow, guys. Hey, hold on. Thank can, you. Can you can you explain to me what 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 is it? it is it's cognac, right? It's a cognac. Yes, it's a VSOP. What's, man. I'm, I need to start drinking. It's I need good. to start drinking. Oh, with, I, cigar, I need... oh, with that cigar? Because we know we're in a, um, eight, the eight bar in, in the uh, uh, resorts world. So we're we're in there in Brezza. With Wait, cigar. resort world in Vegas? Yeah. That's where I'm going tomorrow. Yeah. If you go to eight or Brezza, ask yeah. For, yeah, ask for Shea by Laporte. Wait a minute. They got my cigars in eight. Yes. I Pear. said, baby, baby, they got my cigar. That's in eight, right? Man, they got my cigars at eight. Man, we got to do something there at eight, man. Oh, we got to oh, do something every single row together. You, you want to do something in doing the Super Bowl? Yeah, man. Okay. Maybe we can have a show. We can have a show at eight and do like a, a sit down. I know, I know, I know, I know that uh, 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 the volume was talking about having something live, uh, probably right. Thursday night. Um, yeah. They were trying to work work on a venue. I did talk to the uh, bosses at Resorts World. They were right. game. Uh, okay. And so that's something that we're definitely going to try and put together. Yeah, but man. congratulations to the Raiders. They got a, a uh, followed last week up victory with another victory, so that's two wins in a row. Jets, Jets lost last week, right? Second, then the, yeah, it's two in two in a row. Yeah, that's them. two in a row. They 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 won the they had won the previous three and they lost the last two. Yeah. So thank you guys again. I'm sorry that Laporte is <laughs> already sold out, but I promise you, we'll get it back up there tomorrow. We'll have it back up. So thank you guys again, C.J. Stroud. Ooh. Ocho, he went. To, he went to the jungle. He went to the jungle. He do banged. On, he banged on on, on his uh, 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 what they call that shield. It's like yeah. Joe Burrow. Yeah, where you at? He did. Where he you did. at? Listen, listen. I can't even argue with you. I can't even argue because I can't even argue the fact. Forget him beating the Bengals. Forget <laughs> that part. Forget about the game he had today. I want to talk about what he's done the past nine weeks yes. as a quarterback that they question coming out in the draft talk about this test or that test oh we don't know if he's worth the, 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 the number two pick man listen he is a rookie that's playing at the MVP level please tell me when's the last time you've seen a rookie play at a level like this and win an MVP has not, it ever happened before not in the court the only rookie to ever win the MVP is Jim Brown he did that in 57 as a running oh, back oh. A running back. Running that's, back. That's what Not I'm saying. a quarterback. Because right. here's the Ocho. This is what you got to look at. Think about what they're mm -hmm. asking him to do. They're not running the football. They're not doing what they did for Big Ben with Jerome mm -hmm. Betters and Willie mm -hmm. Parker. And you got that. We're going to play outstanding defense mm -hmm. behind our run game. No, they put the ball in this kid's hands. hands. He has the second most passing yards in the yards. NFL. Sam yeah. Howell passed him. Mm -hmm. uh, he took the lead. Sam Howell passed him. Right. 15 touchdowns. Two interceptions. Well, mm -hmm. the rookie of the year is over. That's done. Yeah. Now yeah. let's have a serious discussion. This By kid, the MVP, he smack dab in the Ocho. Let's have real talk. Yeah, at the quarterback position, he's played the best quarterback thus far. I'm not saying he's the best quarterback, but, but if you look the at best quarterback so far, yeah, through nine weeks, if you look at the totality mm -hmm. and yeah. what he's done. Mm -hmm. Now, this is back-to-back -back weeks, Ocho. As a rookie, yeah. he went and got game-winning drives. One, mm -hmm. he got a touchdown in 40 seconds. He had 46 on the clock. He yeah. did it in 40. Yeah. Now, he throws a horrible interception. And guess what he does? He said, no, don't worry about it. I don't got worry, you. I got you. I, I got, got you. Listen, the funny thing about Stroud, this is crazy. Right now in the season, he has 2,626 passing yards, 15 yeah. touchdowns. We in week nine. He only threw his second interception today. That's Ooh. it. His second interception was a day. To be a rookie, to come into the NFL and have them put the ball in your hands and yes. say, you lead us. Yes. I'm not talking, I'm not talking about cross routes. I'm not talking about check down. I'm talking about digs, yes. curls, yeah. corner Speed. routes, deep posts, streaks. He throwing everything from one to nine of the route tree. Yeah. He has so much poise in his, his ability 
to process the game even in clutch situations, which yeah. he was able to do the past two weeks, to mm-hmm. be able to do that at this level as a rookie is like he'd been here before and he's playing like a goddamn veteran. He is. He is. And that's the thing, Ocho, is that when they put the ball in his hand, they're not mm-hmm. running, running, okay, we're going to throw a third down. They say, mm-hmm. nah, they'll throw it on first down. They'll throw it on, yeah. they'll, they'll throw it on any down, mm-hmm. any area of the field. Mm-hmm. That's immense. Con- that shows. He's shown Confidence. them something. In practice, yeah. in training camp, in OTAs, that, that we can't put enough on his plate that he can't digest it. Yeah. He's been phenomenal. And I'm not so sure. If you go back and look at the interception he threw, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think Dale is running a shallow, and he started right. to climb. You know mm-hmm. on a shallow, if you climb, that guy climb. gonna jet it. He going to go under, up yeah. underneath it. Yeah, Taylor Britt. Yeah, he came right you, up underneath hey, it. You got – hey, if it, if that shallow – if it's cool, – now, I don't know if he's supposed to do this now, but, but we ran the shallow. We ran it from four to six. You could run four right. yards. You couldn't get deeper than six. Six. If yeah. you climb and all of a sudden you go eight to ten, that DB yeah, gonna come, jump up underneath. Come, he come right in. up underneath and go the other way. <laughs> that's and they, that's so, exactly what he did. The Texans. The Texans. The Texans are five and four, right? Yes. They're they five got five wins. Let me give you their schedule. If you yeah. if you don't have it, they got the Cardinals. They got the Titans twice. They got the Broncos, the Jets, and the Colts, along with the Browns at home. So, me looking at it. They have a great opportunity to be what? Damn they're 10 and 10 and 4. They definitely I they definitely probably gonna be favorite over the Cardinals. They'll probably be favorite over the Titans. Uh, at I least would. once. At least once. At least once. Yes. Broncos. A lot of this is gonna be contingent, Ocho, on where they play. If right. they get some of these t- well, we know. Titans are in the same division, so we know they're right. going to be home in a way. So they, mm-hmm. they're going to get one of those at home. They get the Browns at home. The Browns probably will be favored in that one, but I'm, yeah. the, I'm not. The I'm, defense. Yeah. The defense. I'm going to be Please. shocked if the Colts, especially if the Colts have to go to Houston and the Broncos have to go to Houston, that they'll be favored over the Texans. I have a question. Do yes. you really, I mean, the fact that you played, do you really think home and away really matters that much? Because I'm thinking, I'm just, from my experience, I prefer playing away from home as mm-hmm. opposed to being at home. It really didn't bother me. I like I like the hostile environments. How did, how, what about well, you? Well, I'm, I'm just saying as, for betting purposes. Oh, okay. okay I'm okay, just okay. saying for betting for purposes as being favored to win the game. Now, just okay, because okay, you're okay. favorite, it doesn't mean right. you're going to win the game because okay. it's not like you get those points <laughs> that you're favored, that, that the other team is favored by. So right. with that being said, but it's that if you look at CJ and the way he's playing, bro, you saw mm-hmm. what Cincinnati did to the 49ers. We saw yeah. what they did to uh who's that Seattle. I think yeah. that was Seattle that they played. Mm-hmm. And for a rookie to go in yeah. there, he out he outplayed Joe Burrow. That's and Joe Burrow didn't play bad. It's no, not he didn't like play Joe- bad at all. We had our opportunity. We had our we yes. as a team. We had opportunities to win the game. It just didn't. It just didn't fall in our favor. And I think. I think the way it ended for the Bengals today. I, I'm. I, I tell you. I don't. I don't know why God put this on my heart. I think the game ended today purposely because we're going to be in a position later on, and Tyler Boyd is going to be in a position to oh, yeah. get us into the playoffs. Mm-hmm. I I just, I just I just just the way that just with the way the game works for some reason I just I just know it he wasn't supposed to catch that ball today and what's gonna happen he's gonna be in a position later on and he's gonna have an important catch that's gonna get us into the playoffs mm-hmm. and we're gonna make a run from that right. point on. C.J. Stroud told the Athletic this week, "I never draft a quarterback who didn't play another sport growing up. I mm-hmm. never draft a QB without talking to his teammates first, and I'd have to sit down with him and watch film, and I would right. make him explain where do the rules stop." Where the where the instincts kicking in? Mm. Let that sink in for a second. He says, "Okay, you got a son. You got a script here. Why? Right. But well, let me tell you what I saw. Let me tell you what mm. I'm thinking. Because at some point in time, that's this is why the days of the Peyton Manning and the Drew mm. Brees and and the Tom Brady, the statuesque right. guy that just mm-hmm. plays solely mainly ninety percent from the pocket, it's over. Right. You're gonna mm-hmm. have to get our script." Because you right. know what, Ocho, I'm gonna be able. To, I'm gonna call a play, mm-hmm. and you know what happened? Those o, those X's on the other side, they start right. moving around. Oh yeah. So what happens when I call a play, and it breaks down, and I need you, CJ, to go make a play? Play. So he yeah. he says, I want to be able to explain to you. You see why I did that? Well, let me tell you what I saw. I saw this, and I was like, okay, you know what? They're gonna take one away. I can go to two. 
but I see they got they got two bracketed. Mm-hmm. So now, uh, for him, he talks like a guy that's been in the league five six years. That ain't no mm-hmm. rookie talk, bro. Nah. You, did you hear what he said? I, I wouldn't draft a quarterback didn't play another sport. I wouldn't draft a quarterback without talking to his teammates. And I right. want to sit down and I want to sit down and watch film with him and make him explain to me mm-hmm. where do the rules stop and the instincts kick in. Yeah, I'm like and, wow. The one, the one thing I do like about Stroud is he's a dual threat quarterback, but mm-hmm. he's a he's a pocket passer first. Mm-hmm. He runs when he has to run. Yeah, that's it. He's not just taking off just to take off. He's a, listen. Noah Brown, Nico Collins, Saban and, Dale. Boy, and Tank Dale. Boy, Tank Dale is special. Mm-hmm. Tank Dale is special. They, they they're gonna be a, a really good, nice one two combo for years to come. They Ocho, you know really that, well today. Ocho, you know that's the same Noah Brown that was in Dallas. It is. That is it. <laughs> hey, I ain't even realized, man. He ba- man, he balling. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Yo, that's the... man. <laughs> hey, Noah Brown. I know you're gonna see this, boy. I see you, boy. Yeah, I see you, boy. Sometimes, ch- sometimes the chain of scenery does wonders for you, man. I salute you, oh. homie. Someone named Doug Sanders just donated a hundred dollars. Do we know him? Do we know Doug? Doug. <laughs> Doug, you got money. <laughs> Doug donated a hundred dollars. Sports addict just donated twenty dollars. Ask us to recall the hardest hit we've ever taken. Hardest hit. Ooh, I, Ooh. I know what mine is. Who? Who? Somebody I, I caught got, you? I got. And a, I know. I bet. I bet you. I bet you got caught on the slant too. Either a slant no, or a seam. I got caught on the over route. I got two. Two. Rest his soul, Orlando Thomas. I ran a far cross. Yeah. And check this out. What made it so bad? He picked it. So I'm going, I'm looking for the ball like this. Ooh. He jumps up, knee catches me in the chin. I'm out, I'm out before I even hit the dirt. Before Wait, I hit cold? the turf. Wait, out cold? Out. Out. O U W T. Out. <laughs> Picked it. But you know yeah. back, but you know back there, Ocho. They get hey, come to the sideline. Hey. Smell of salt. Little smelling salt, little, you know, mm-hmm. hey, how many fingers I got up? You know, they ain't do but one or two. You, hey, right. you got a 50% chance. Oh, two. Okay, you good. Go back in there. <laughs> and it's then, my, uh-huh. and I got hit by the Raiders. I I, I forget the linebacker's name. Mm-hmm. We were in a we were in a, a, a two tight end set. Right. A tiger set, 12 personnel. And normally, I'm playing wide. Normally, I play Tiger. But I'm playing wide right. in this situation. Chamberlain's playing the Tiger. They uh-huh. walk, they walk. The back, the Sam backer. Anytime mm. they walk the Sam backer, what you thinking, Ocho, on another tight end? I'm thinking, man, man, yeah, obviously that's the only reason he walked though. Check this out. So he, the Tiger tight end is going to run a go. I'm mm-hmm. going to run a flat. Mm. It's cover two. Don't tell me the corner sat. The corner is the is the Sam backer. The quarterback didn't see it. Didn't see it. He's thinking the. Ocho, he thinking the same thing I'm thinking. They walk right. the same. I'm like, I'm finna catch. Hey, Ocho, Ocho, I see that. And they got, Ocho, you know what I'm thinking? I said, ooh, ooh, that means the mic got to cover me. I'm going, yeah. I, will ca- I will catch this flat route. I'm going right. to turn this thing up. I feel. Ooh, oh, yeah. You know, you, know, <laughs> you run it hard, Ocho, you pump that head on him. Yeah. Man, Ocho, I did this right here. Yeah. Ocho. He hit me so hard, he knocked my helmet off. <laughs> Man. Wait, you he didn't knock you out, though. You got up? Yeah, I got up. I okay. got up. I don't know how. Yeah. I got a couple of licks. I got hit a, 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 a dude. O- Ocho, I done took some licks. I took one. I caught a shallow cross, Ocho. Got a block and turned up. Mm. And by that time... I had a fracture in my eye socket at the end of 95, so I was wearing a shield. Right. Ocho, I caught it. I turned up. I didn't see dude. The safety came. Mm. Hit me dead in the side of my head. He said, they say, hey, Red, that a way to bring the wood. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm laying on the ground. I said, what wood he broke? <laughs> Ocho, he cracked my shield like a windshield. I, you really? know how hard it was to crack a shield? You got to crack it. Yeah, I, I, man, that's that's crazy. Why he cracked it. 
I um we were playing the, we were playing the, the Browns. We were playing at home. I never hey. forget this. And a lot of people remember this is the era during the time where I had the blonde mohawk. I mind you, I'm in my prime now. Uh-huh. I never forget. <laughs> two two by two by two two by two set. Okay. You know, when you got two receivers on one side and it's third down, slant's coming. It, oh yeah. Double slant. <laughs> Double slant's coming. <laughs> Man, I run the slant. Carson, I don't know if the ball might have slipped out of Carson's hand by accident, maybe a tad bit. I, the ball was too high. Kareem Abdul Jabbar couldn't have caught this ball. What do I do? <laughs> you jump for I it. I still jump anyway, trying to go get it. I never forget this, man. Brian Russell. Brian Russell, the safety for the Browns at the time, hit me up under my chin. My helmet went flying one way. It's blood gushing. My jersey. I'm knocked out on the field. I'm knocked out cold. Wow. Like knock out cold. I think he played for the Vikings too, Ocho. Check and see if Brian Russell played for the Vikings. Cause I think he got me too, Ocho. He did? I think he did. No, unk, unk, listen. I was knocked out. I'm talking about knocked out. Like when you in the boxing ring and somebody knock you out, you yeah. sleep. Yes. But I was I was sleep on the field. Then I'm not sure what happened after that. In in two thousand so in two thousand two, two thousand two. He got me too, Ocho. Oh, that was him? He listen. Did, hey. He got he got a uh 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 unnecessary roughness. He talking about my bad. I ain't. I see what you mean, yo bad. You dirty mofo. Man, he, oh, listen. He put his helmet right up under my chin on a seam route. I had I, the stitches. You can still see. You can still see with a gash. I had a big gash. Then after the game, the media wanted to interview me. I'm still concussed. Like if I'm sure if, if when they edit this and we talk about this, you can see me after the game. I'm still concussed. All I want to know is how did Lee Baden do. Like you could tell, I'm still woozy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I never, ever, ever, ever been hit like that again. And that, that obviously, that's the hardest hit because I didn't see it coming. Yeah, the stuff with Ray Lewis, the stuff with Ray Lewis and stuff. I see, I see those hits coming, so you're able to tense. You know, you, you know, brace a little bit, tense your body, you embrace for it. That Brian Russell hit, nothing like that ever before. Thank you guys so much for the donations. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Continue to click that subscribe button. Click that like button also. Don't forget to subscribe and be active in the chat for an opportunity because we will be giving away $2,500 tonight. 25 k The Ravens, Lamar and the Ravens, they showed Ocho why they're hard to trust. With yeah. nine minutes left in the game, they're up mm-hmm. 31-17. Yeah. 31-17. Now, at one point in the fourth quarter, the, the uh, uh, Ravens had a 97.1% chance of winning. Right. Yeah. Ocho, I think we owe it to ourselves. We've got to have these conversations, these very, very tough, difficult conversations about Lamar. Mm-hmm. We got to have them. You saw what happened in Pittsburgh, a fumble and a pick. You yeah. saw what happened today, Ocho. Another a pick, pick six today, Another late pick. in the ball game, Ocho. Yeah. Now, here, the, see, Ocho, when I get in here, when I talk on television and you and I have these conversations, yes, I don't sir. like to deal with conjecture. I don't mm-hmm. like to deal with speculation, and I don't like to mm-hmm. deal with innuendo. I like to deal mm-hmm. with facts. Ten games into the season, Lamar Jackson has thrown as many touchdowns as Mac Jones. Mac Jones got benched for the third time today. He fumbled ten times and lost five. He has as many turnovers as he has touchdowns. Now, this ain't no conjecture, Joe. This ain't yeah. no speculation. This ain't innuendo. Mm-hmm. These are facts. 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 Right. And people don't want to have those conversations. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm telling you, He's thrown for as many touchdowns as Mac Jones. Mac Jones has been benched three times this mm-hmm. year. He's fumbled f- ten times, lost right. five. Right. And he has as many turnovers as touchdowns. Remember, remember, we talked about one thing, right? Yes. We talked about one thing. Is when you're turning the ball over, it's hard for you to overcome it depending on who your team is and who you have at the helm running the offense. So he's had ten overs and lost five of them. Yes. The Ravens are still seven and three. Yes. The Ravens are still seven and three and atop of the division. <laughs> they have a very special defense. They have a very special defense. At one point in the game, the Ravens were up 24 to 9 early in the third, early in the third quarter. Yes. The, the play, the play from quarterback Deshaun Watson in the first half, it was ridiculous. He was 16 for 20 for 75, 79 yards and interception. Deshaun Watson in the second half. It brought them boys back to life. He was yep. 14 for 14 for 150 yards in a TD. So was it really Lamar Jackson or the fact that Deshaun Watson and the Browns were able to turn things around and get themselves back in the game? 
So Deshaun Watson got a tie, got a got a got a tie ball game, and he didn't step on the field. So who threw? So that pick six was that Deshaun Watson? No, you know that that pick six that was a phenomenal tip ball that went in the air. You can't control that. It was a, it was a tip ball. Ocho, Ocho. Like, it, go ahead. Look, but see, but see, just what you do. Tip ball. So on that touchdown to Odell Beckham. So Ooh. was that Lamar Jackson or was that Odell Beckham? Or who gets the touchdown pass? Hey, that was beautiful. Who gets the touchdown pass? You see what Lamar you want to do? You want Lamar to give Jackson. on a five-yard route, you want to give all the credit to the quarterback. But when right. it comes to the interceptions, we got we make all these excuses. Well, you okay, I'm not making it. I mean, it, it was the tip ball. I'm just saying these are facts, right? Is you it an interception? The, I watched the game. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was a fact. But it still is on Lamar Jackson. That's, that, that is something that you can't control. That's a part of the game. Okay. You know, you throw a pass and a lineman tips it or a backer tips it. Yes. And it gets picked off. It goes the other way. Greg Newsom made a great play. There's nothing you can do about that. Things like that happen. But again, the fact of the matter is the Ravens are still a great offense. Lamar is still very, very dynamic and his and giving his team an opportunity to win week in and week out yes. because he is so special at the quarterback position despite the turnovers, despite because, the interceptions. Ocho, you, you think, Ocho, 10 games into the season, you think mm-hmm. you're going to be able to overcome come playoff time when your quarterback turns the ball over that much? You think you're no. going to be able to come back, overcome but, that? But you, but you know what's a good thing? You know what's a good thing? To get, get the mistakes and the turn, turnovers out the way now. Because if, if you could be 73 and still be sitting atop the AFC, Ocho, Going into the end, going into the tail end of the year, you are gonna clean those mistakes up. So what happens when you clean those mistakes up? Then what? Ocho, what's Lamar yes, Jack? What's Lamar's history in the playoffs? Remember the first time after the MVP season, he had five turnovers mm-hmm. against Tennessee. Yeah. The next year he goes to beat Tennessee. What happens mm-hmm. when he in the in the division around? He goes to Buffalo. He turns the yeah. ball over. Yeah. Pittsburgh, a pick in the end zone. He fumbled, strip sack. Today, mm-hmm. another pick. Indy, they lost to Indy. Gardner Minshew in the fourth quarter. They had an mm-hmm. 88% chance of winning. Pittsburgh, winning game, yeah. Kenny Pickett, 90.2% mm-hmm. chance of winning. Today, Deshaun, I grant it. And Deshaun still, I mean, this was probably the best Deshaun has looked as far as running the football, throwing yeah. the football also. Yeah. That's second 97. half. And, second half. And two of these three games, you're at home. You got to win those. I mean, come on, Ocho. You got to win that. Yeah. And, yeah. and 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 let me tell you why you got to win those games because who's your quarterback? Lamar Jackson. That's why you got to win MVP. those games. If if that was if it look, we're not even talking about this. If this a <laughs> uh, 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 Zach Wilson or this yeah. if this is you know somebody else, right? Because he's so dynamic. Because we have such expectations. Because mm-hmm. he is a former MVP. Right. You know. The greater the accomplishment, the more expectations come along. They come along with it, yeah. And I, I think I, I think even Lamar, even Lamar even understands that. But the, the funny thing about this is crazy stat. You know, I was watching the Browns when yes. playing an AFC opponent and trailing by 14 points. Before today's game, they were 0-59-1. and Yes. 0-59-1 and when trailing by 14 and managed to come out with a W. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, Lamar didn't have a good day throwing. He missed Zay. He missed Zay Flowers early in the game for a touchdown. He overshot yeah, it. Yeah. He yeah, had a, a he, he had a bad underthrow on another because he had two picks. One was a pick mm-hmm. six, and one was a little early in the game. But he got he has to clean he has to clean those things up because mm-hmm. this might be as wide open as we've seen the AFC in a while. Yeah, Kansas City yeah. is not the invincible, the immortal Kansas City that we're used to seeing. Over the last three to four years, they can we, be beat. They can be beat. We just saw the 49ers, who was on a three game losing streak, go beat the brakes off Jacksonville. <laughs> we saw Tennessee, we saw, excuse me, not Tennessee. We just saw uh, uh, the Texans with a rookie quarterback go to the jungle <laughs> and the guy stared down Joe Burrow. So there are no like invincibles out there. Nah. Mm-mm. So this might be, this is the opportunity. Uh, uh, um, for Lamar and the Ravens, mm-hmm. but I am, I will say this, Ocho, I was surprised that how well the, the, the Browns moved the ball, even On though that defense. pick six, after, yes, yes, that yes. Defense. I was very surprised at how well they moved the ball. Uh, Breeze just donated uh, $20 and asked, what's one player y'all hated going against? One player hated going against? That's that's a good one. That, when when I think when I think about the landscape of the NFL, especially during my day, 
it would always probably be the Steelers, the Steelers or the Ravens, obviously. But I, I got up for that. Uh, James Harrison, Ike Taylor, Deshae Townsend. But see, uh, you ain't have to block James. Try I mean, blocking, no. try blocking Reggie White at two twenty eight. Try blocking Bruce Smith. Ooh, try blocking Michael Strahan. That's bad. That's bad for you, boy. <laughs> you got, that's I got Derek Thomas, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Green. Mm -hmm. I got. Oh, you had, you, you, I had you, Leslie O'Neill, uh, Howie Long, Greg Townsend. Mm -hmm. All them mm -hmm. in my division. Yeah, but you have to think. I did all the trash talking through the week, so I had eleven people trying to knock my head off. Yeah, trying to well, kill me at, I, at, at at every given time, and I I enjoyed that. I oh, I, I, I went into the game. You know, we had some we had some battles because rest his soul, uh, 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 Cortez Kennedy, Chester oh, McLaughlin. Cortez. Yeah, Ted, Ted was in Seattle. I was at them. Yeah. Uh, Chet mm -hmm. was at uh, Kansas City and the Raiders. Uh, later, later was a teammate of mine. Mm -hmm. But uh, those were some battles. I mean, I don't think you really hated going against anybody. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think you, you welcomed the opportunity because you know what was in front of you. You know what's right. at stake. Uh, especially playing, especially if it was a division rival. Mm -hmm. Some guys like you weren't familiar with. You only saw them like once every two to three years, so right. you weren't kind of familiar with those guys. You kind of didn't know what to expect. Are they mm -hmm. gonna play snap the whistle or snap to after the whistle? So you right, really right, kind right. of didn't know what to expect. Uh, right. So I just, you know, hey guys, how we doing this thing today? We going snap the whistle, snap after the whistle because I'm okay. I, I, I'm ready whatever, for you. whatever I, you want to do. Yeah, because I gotta make sure I'm, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna play for shipping and handling because I'm gonna make sure right. you get this ish back. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're going to get it back now. You do all this cheap shotting. Don't think I ain't going to get you back because I'm going right. to get you back. Uh, the Chargers lose 41-38. And, you know, games like this, when it's going up and down, you know, turnover yeah. going to cost you the ball game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ocho, I'm going to say this. And I don't really advocate for anybody to lose their job. No, but Brandon do don't, Staley, don't do no, don't but do Brandon Staley. No, Brandon Staley is yeah. a defensive guy. He got yeah. the job. Mm -hmm. even though his defense was middle of the pack when he was at the Rams. Mm -hmm. The Chargers have give, gave up 500 yards of offense for the second time this season, and they've given up at least 475 four times. A defense that got Khalil Mack, Joey <laughs> Bosa, uh, 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 Derwin James, Asante mm -hmm. Samuel Jr., uh, yeah. Kenneth Murray, yeah, uh, Sebastian Day. That's unacceptable. Der Der Derwin James. That's unacceptable, Ocho. Yeah. Take off. Yeah, what you is. got? It is. Um, listen, it's unacceptable, but again, they were playing Jared Goff and the very, 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 very hot Detroit Lions who are on a roll right now. They're on a roll offensively. Amon St. Brown, Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery, stop playing. Stop playing. So I get it. I get it giving up 533 yards of offense, even though Brandon Stadium defense, they ranked 24. They had the bottom of the pack, too. Yes, but how? Oh, Joe, you got Khalil Mack, who's the defensive player of the year. You got yeah. Joey Bosa. You got Derwin James. You got Kenneth Murray. You got Asante Samuel Jr. You it, got the, Sebastian Day. The funny thing about it is all the names sound beautiful. It looks great on paper. But then you have to go out there and execute Brandon Staley's defense. And that just ain't happening. It, it, it's just not so happening. When has so it, it happened? It, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now you getting to my point, see? Yeah. Offense, offense was good though. Yes, I mean, uh, 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 Keenan Allen. What eleven for a buck seventy five? He's Once gone haywire the last three four weeks. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Eckler gonna get you, gonna get your touchdown. He's a fan. He's a fantasy guy. Uh -huh. If you draft him, he, he's gonna win you a lot of fantasy draft. Yeah. But this is this is. I mean, the offense. I mean, you look at them; they go up and down the field too. But in a game like this, one turnover, I mean, uh, uh, Herbert turned the ball over once, and that's kind of was the difference in the ball game. Because right. you look late in the ball game, the, the, the Lions moved right up the field. Khalif mm -hmm. Raymond ran right up the field, 41-yard completion, boom. Walk-off field goal. Game over. Yes! So, obviously, really both sides. Well, obviously, the Lions defense wasn't playing really well at all because they also gave up 31-38. Yeah, 38 41-38. Because they gave up 38 points, yeah. 41 30 well, with the final. They they play they play bad too. Yeah. But see, I got the ball last. See, I, I know my defense bad, but guess what? They're not on the field. <laughs> I ain't got I ain't asking my defense to stop you. Right, you right. You gotta right, ask right, your sorry right. defense to stop me. Stop me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, you're right. 
Yeah, that, that's crazy. When I when I think about it, when when you when you look at when you look at the roster, especially yes. what Brandon Staley has to work with defensively, yes. they should be dominating. Like a defense like that should be doing what the Ravens or the Browns are doing. They should be in the the upper echelon or top five in defense with that type of roster. But it's just not it's not panning out. Why it's not panning out? Maybe they need to change what they run. Maybe they, maybe they need to change something up. The Cowboys do a demolition job on the Giants. The Cowboys have outscored the Giants eighty nine to seventeen. C.D. Lamb in his last 11 games, 11 catches, a buck 51, one touchdown. Dak Prescott. 11 for 90, 191, 12 for Dak. 158, two touchdowns. Dak Prescott. Go ahead. Can you give Dak Prescott his flowers? Say Dak Prescott is a top five quarterback Man, in the NFL. It. Can you say that for me? Stop it. So, hold on, hold oh, on. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Don't, don't yeah. do that. Just give Dak his flowers for me, please. Ocho. Dak Prescott is a you top so five quarterback Ocho. in the NFL right Ocho. now. Ocho. So, let, okay, let me get so. You will take so you taking him over Mahomes. You taking him over Joe Burrow. No. Hold on. Who else? Jalen, you taking him over Jalen Hurts? No. You taking him over Lamar Jackson. Okay, now now, now we're getting a little iffy. Nah, we're getting I a little iffy. You a simple question. It's, Ain't no iffy. It's, it's, you you listen, said he top five. I just named four quarters. Are you taking him over Lamar? Yes or no? Okay, let's make he, he's number five, then boom. <laughs> now what? Now what you got? Now yeah, yeah. Now what you got? Me personally. I, I'm not taking. I'm not taking Dak over Trevor Lawrence. What? I'm not taking. You taking him over? You taking him over Jared Goff? Yo, you taking him over you, Jared Goff? Yes or no? You got a cold? You taking him over Jared Goff? Yes or no? <laughs> right now? Right now? I, I don't. I don't like when you do that. You taking Why are you CJ? trying to discredit? Why are you trying to discredit I, what Dak did you, today? You told me Dak was the top five. I named I, you six quarterbacks. I like. I like Dak top five right now. You take I it, said it. You, yeah, you take it. You know, I'm cold in here. Let me. Let how about, me I'm how cold. About you take I it like Dak top five right now. You take it over because I'm trying to. I'm trying oh. to understand how you gonna argue the fact. How are you gonna argue the fact? You taking him over CJ Stroud? Listen, come on, don't do the rookie I like that. Why, why, you? Why, why, why yes you gonna, or don't no? Do don't do that. Yes or no? Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me tell you something real quick. Listen to me real quick. Stay with me now. Stay with me, baby. Okay. CDA, Dak Prescott, twenty six for thirty five, four hundred four yards, four TDs. One interception. Uh, he only he only played three quarters. Top Ocho. five. Ocho. You Ocho. Top you five. Know, Ocho. The quarterback the flowers. What's it's his okay. name? Tommy uh Danny DeVito. Danny give, DeVito done played two games and they got a hundred yards passing. What they got it? What they, listen? They ain't got nothing to do with that. That's the Giants' problem. We ain't got nothing to do with that. The Dallas Cowboys came in town to play the New York Giants. Yeah. We ain't got nothing to do with a roster. We ain't got nothing to do with their injuries. We got to go, so you go, go in there so, and, so in and other do words, our job. You'll be the crippled man. So you'll be the crippled man. Man that can't see, got no arms. You'll fight him and beat him down. So, but they ain't got what? nothing to be doing with me. Hey, he should have been talking he, ish. He should He shouldn't have got it. He should have <laughs> get his ass. Hey, don't get your ass in the ring if you don't watch your ass whoop. Oh, man. Oh, that's a shame, Ocho. The Cowboys, look. The Cowboys, the first drive, uh, red zone. They got stopped on the goal line. Dak threw a pick. But once they got rolling. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, 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 whew, they did a number on the giant. They did a number oh, on yeah. the giant. But, but see, Ocho, this is what I, this is what I tell. This is what you're supposed to do. A mm -hmm. team that you're better than, you're supposed to beat the brakes off them. Don't do that. Why are you acting like you just didn't see Dak didn't play well last week against you, the Eagles? And what did he do when the rubber needed to meet the road? When I needed a touchdown? What did he do when I absolutely needed it on the fight? What did he give me? Did they did, did the no, Cowboys no, no. not have a I, you chance told, to win you the game? Told, no, hold on. I got a chance to win the lottery. How many times you done played the lottery and you won? You got a chance to win every time. I ain't never played it. Well, you got a chance to win every time. So we so we gonna continue to we so we're not gonna give Dak his flowers for his performance today? So he he He's played top, exceptional. Top five. He, top five. I, uh, on top whose five. list? Oh yours? You won't even no, give it every, every, everybody, everybody's list. Everybody's list. Everybody give me your top five. Up, Name up, your top five week. quarterbacks. Name your top five quarterbacks. We just did. No, we ain't no we. Did. You. I named them. You name them. Give me yours. I, okay. I'm going Joe Burrow first. Then Patrick Mahomes. Uh, the mere fact that you got Joe Burrow in front of Patrick Mahomes, your list is disqualified. Now, you just told me you said my list. Now, how you going to change my list? I can't, I can't, I can't take you serious. You're going to put a guy of a two-time league MVP, a two-time Super Bowl MVP, and a guy that's never won the award, and you're going to put him in front of him. I cannot take your list serious. Okay. 
Patrick Mahomes. Here, yeah, make no, you happy. No, Pat, Patrick no, Mahomes. I don't want it now. Yeah. I don't even Pat, want to Pat, listen to you. I, you know what? They say in Japan, <laughs> when somebody dishonored dishonor someone in the family, they turn their back on. <laughs> hey, I would turn my back, but I ain't finished cutting the back of my head. <laughs> yeah, show, show them that, that, that swatch you left up there. <laughs> I think like a, a topical a topical map. <laughs> hey, I ain't finished cutting my head, man. Okay, but go ahead. I would I want to get your I want to get your top five quarterbacks. Okay, you got Joe Burrow, Patrick. Okay, Mahomes, no, no let, listen. All, all 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 jokes aside, obviously we know Patrick Mahomes is always first based on everything he's accomplished to this point. Um, I like I like Joe first. Obviously, ja- Josh Allen, um, Le- Le- Jalen Hurts, and then I go Lamar Jackson. Dak, Lamar Jackson, Dak, 5A, 5B, if I can do that, please, if I can do that, because it's my list. Yeah, it's your list. If, if I can okay. Do, if, okay, I'm just, I'm just saying. And, and the, that, that shouldn't be an argument. That shouldn't be an argument. It's very fair to, to the way he's playing. I ain't trying to be this fair. Point this season. I, when I went to the fair, I got a candy apple. I got cotton candy. I rode the merry-go-round. I petted a goat one time at the fair. I ain't trying mm. to be fair. Give me a list. Mm. See, that's I your problem. You try to be fair. You try to I gave it to everybody's feelings. I gave it to you. I gave it to you. And I gave it to you. Dak top five though. Okay. Uh, I ain't going that far, but okay. Uh so still they haven't got their running game, man. The Cowboys. Are you okay with the running game? Yeah. Because I thought because I thought they would be better. You remember how, how well Pollard ran the ball last year? And you remember right. last year when they got the ball down there, that was Zeke. I think Zeke had 12 rushing touchdowns. Down he, last year, he yeah. wasn't he wasn't the explosive player that he was his first couple of years in the league, mm-hmm. but he was a plow horse. He was no longer right. a thoroughbred. He was right. a plow horse, and he could plow the ball into the end zone. I think they missed that. I really do. I really think they missed Zeke. I mean, listen, they're running the ball. They're running the ball efficient. I mean, efficient. We're running the ball efficient. They're not using the run to open up the pass because the pass is exceptionally well. Gallup playing well. Gallup played Brandon. well today. Brandon Cooks, Cooks played exceptionally Brandon Cooks well. Brandon Cooks played exceptionally well. CeeDee Lamb See? is on a goddamn tear. Yeah. So at that point, when you got to pick your poison on who to stop, do you even need the running game? Oh, is you it need a factor? it. You need it. I mean, you do need it, but I'm just saying it, it, it hasn't been a factor to this point. Obviously, when you get to the playoffs, it's going to be a different ball game. Well, I mean, consider that they lost three games, so they lost three games doing something. Did they run the ball against the Arizona Cardinals? Did they run the ball against the 49ers? Did they run the ball against the Eagles? Mm. Mm. Ocho, we got 19,000 people watching. What 19,000? Yep. Boy, I can't wait. Boy, I can't wait till we give give away this 250k, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even I don't even know 19,000 people. Oh, so I just want to know okay, here's the thing. We got a poll up. We want to know which is more inconsistent. Anthony Davis, Lamar Jackson, McDonald's ice cream machine or Dak Prescott? That's a good one. Yeah, I didn't want to know. That was the people. The and, people wanted the poll. And, and, the, and people the people said, "Give and, us a poll." And, Let and us you, 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 you want to know what the most inconsistent was out of all those? McDonald's ice cream machine being broken, and and that that that's a fact. We and, don't let the I people can, decide. I, I ain't let you decide. You can't. Nah, don't let the don't let the people yeah, decide. Yeah, we gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. They know it's the they know it's the ice cream machine. They know it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. AD is not inconsistent. It's not for you to decide. You're not a caller. The, the people don't know. Yeah, they do. They don't oh, know. So now they don't watch sports now. Everybody you just named is elite at their position. And inconsistent so, could be a could be a also could be a quality no, or trait. No, because you can't be elite and inconsistent. Because yes, you, you can't. Wouldn't be in the, you wouldn't even be in the conversation if you weren't Hold consistent. Up. Who said Dak is elite? Who said that? What? You trying to tell me Dak ain't elite? I ain't trying to. I've been told you that. Ain't nobody think what? Dak Elite. Ain't nobody think man, Dak stop, Elite but man, you. Stop playing, man. What man, you Dak talking is about, not man? elite. Dak is top five. What are you talking Dak about, man? Dak is not elite. Who? No, oh, you know what? Oh, you're going to have to stop this. You're going to have to get this Give man to stop Give me the poll. Give me the poll. If that, you know, what we, this is what we do. We put it to the. No, no, no. no, no, Dak, no, 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 stop it. Stop it. No, because people what don't even like the Cowboys. They're not going to be fair. They're not going to be fair. They just, they hating because it's the Cowboys. Liberty City. Did y'all have did y'all have FFA in Liberty City? Future Farmers of America? FAA. Yeah, FFA. Future Farmers of America. Because I go to the fair, you know, the fair, you know, we had a cow show, goat show, hog, you show pigs, cattle. 
Live. No, we had, we had, we had, we got, we got the Dade County Youth Fair. We got a Dade County Youth Fair. We had a, we had a, they got a pet zoo. Talk what y'all got? Talk about Dak and Elite. Man. He's not. Man. He's not. About, man. He's not elite, Ocho. He's hey, good, listen, but he's not hold elite. On. Let, me, let me tell. Let me tell you something. CD Lamb. The last three games. Who's the one throwing him the ball? Dak. Who's the one throwing him the ball? So that's what. So that's what we basing it on. I'm not. I'm. I'm just asking the question. Who's you know the one who's throwing, throwing the ball? ball. Dak. The okay. same one that's been sorting, throwing him the ball that when he went out in the first round. That okay, same guy throwing him the ball that turned the ball over. That same guy. Wait. Wait. He's the only person turning the ball over? No, no, no. We ain't talking about I everybody. See, you I said Josh that. Turn the ball see, over. you say you're that and I see what you want to do. I mean, no. but you you, you use it. You, 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 you talk about people turning the ball over like other people don't turn the ball you over. You said you I think I think are Josh we talking about are we are over. we talking about Dak or are we talking about somebody else? Now you want to bring you're somebody using, else to the You're using examples. You're using an example about Dak turning the ball over when everybody else did. Didn't you just say talk about Lamar turning the ball over? Then yeah. Deshaun Watson turn the ball over? Then Joe Burrow turn the ball over today? I mean, I mean, what, what, what are you saying? That does not make it. Is Dak elite? 75% says no. See, that's 75, that's 75 percent is a goddamn lie, and they don't like America. That's three thousand. That's three thousand people. We got three thousand votes. They no they, man, they man, they just don't like the cowboys. I started to put yes, no, hell no. And that'd have been 82 <laughs> percent. <laughs> Listen, Unc, you got to get a man in flowers, baby. You, you, Ocho, didn't get, you, you ain't got Ocho, no choice. Ocho, 25 or 36, 404, exceptional. But mm. wouldn't you like to see see? You see, remember I told you last week. Don't you want to finish that 374 off with a great day and a win? You see, mm. why would I be, why am I impressed with Dak throwing for 374? I just right. watched Sam Howe the week before throw for 397 and four touchdowns against the very defense that Dak Prescott threw for 374. But you want me to be impressed. So I guess Sam Howell is elite because he threw for 397 and four touchdowns because it seemed to me to you that numbers, all it is is numbers. Nothing else. Whoa, when, when we when we judge a quarterback, it, don't we base everything off statistics, right? No, Numbers. no, no. Is That's that, only isn't a that part of it. That, Mahomes, isn't that what we do? Mahomes with those statistics, minus those MVPs, minus those Super Bowl, is not Patrick Mahomes. Because we've seen a lot of quarterbacks put up great. numbers. Tony Romo put up numbers. So is Tony Romo was Tony Romo elite? Was Tony Romo elite? What I, don't know, I, don't I don't. I don't remember hey. that. I don't. I don't remember that far back. Hold on. Let me call. I got to call somebody because all of a sudden Ocho can't talk. Damn. <laughs> I'm saying, I don't remember that I'm far like, back. I'm calling. I'm about to hey. call. I'm about to call nine one one. Dead. Dead was elite. I ain't talking about Dead. You see how you try to shift it? I. I don't know about. I'm talking about the quarterback. I'm talking about Tony Romo. Was Tony Romo elite? Yes or no? I don't remember his stats. Now you was remember. It, was it, you, was you, Tony played, Romo... you was in the league when Tony Romo played. No, I wasn't. I don't even think I even played the Cowboys. I played the Cowboys. That ain't got nothing to do with whether or not you was in the league. I mean, if I'm in, when I'm in the league, I'm not paying attention to the quarterbacks on other teams. I was focused on my quarterback, Carson, who was elite during his Boy, y'all could hey, you could have focused on a lot of stuff. It wasn't like y'all would get geared up to make deep, deep playoff run. Y'all, you could have been focusing on some other stuff. Stop it. You followed the league. You followed other receivers. You saw what Dez was doing. Well, how you know what Dez was doing? How you know Dez was elite? Who was throwing the ball? He's, who he's, was he's throwing elite. Dez the ball? When Dez was allegedly, His, supposedly elite, who was throwing him the ball? Tony Romo. Okay, then, so how you know? You say you didn't follow this league. You didn't I, follow I saw nobody. The, I saw the highlights on uh, ESPN. Exactly. Exactly. I saw the highlights on ESPN. Dez was on ESPN every so, week. Like, so I, I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. You never, you never broke down tape of the Cowboys' offense going against somebody's defense. Why would I break down the tape of because no. it's a part of the game footage? It's a part of the mm -hmm. game. You get four games, and they break down four games. The, 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 yeah, the past four. Oh yeah. Just, so you, it, it just, you it never just, it just so happened. It just so happened. I never had. A, I, I never had the. Uh, okay. The um. Matter of fact, once. No, no, no. You just, with, oh, which is it? Once when Tio was with the Cowboys. How you know? So who was throwing Tio the ball? Tony Romo. 
oh, damn. All of a sudden, you remember who Tony Romo was. You go yeah, from okay. not being in the league when Tony Romo was in the league to all of a sudden, you know Tony Romo's throwing the ball. To no, you, 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 the ball you to asked, no, you asked me, was Tony Romo elite? I said, I don't know because I wasn't watching him play. I remember the people he was throwing to, though. Huh. I know my receivers. Huh. Huh. I know my receivers. Tony Romo, hold on. Dez Bryant. So are you, team wait, are you, are you saying Tony Romo wasn't elite? I'm asking you. Well, he wasn't elite? I asked you. No, I don't think. No. to know. What you mean? How you supposed to know? I didn't, I, didn't, I don't know. I don't play for the cow. I didn't play for the Cowboys. It was not I'm about asking you. Was Tony Romo elite? No, I no, no. Tony so, Romo was Tony was Romo. Elite. What was he? What was he then? He was a good quarterback. That's it. That's it. What you want me to say? So you what want is me to Dak? lie? So what is Dak? Dak is a good quarterback. All right. Not top five. When is the last time the Cowboys had elite quarterback that you felt was elite? When they was winning Super Bowls. Oh, so 1995-94 when Troy Aikman and they had this. The okay. Emmett. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. All right. I mean, it is what it is, Ocho. Okay. Ocho, you. you do realize that throughout the history, no matter yeah. how great it was, and I played in the 90s and played a little bit in the 2000s. Yes, sir. There's only been a handful of elite quarterbacks. The, yeah. the league is not littered. There are not seven, eight, ten elite quarterbacks. There oh, never no. have been. Not I, at a I given time. That. Yeah, I now over that. history, yes, but at a given time, no. No, I understand that. Okay, I'm just making sure. I understand that. I'm just saying. Okay, five thousand. Ooh, Ocho, this thing going the other way. What five happened? thousand people voted. If Dak what? elite, seventy six percent say no. I ain't got nothing to do with me. I ain't, I, I ain't got no. I can't even vote if I want to. I think some sometimes you know I think the people are biased just because they don't they they they're not fond of Jerry Jones and the Cowboys. I think people are people are not voting based on his play. You know this season. No, I don't. Really, I, really? Just, Ocho. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? Hey, you know what? People are people are voting with emotion. They voting with emotion, not not here, not Ocho, logic. You know, a lot of people are saying the same thing that you vote because you don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. What? What do you mean? I'm. What do you, I'm not. Why would I hurt anybody feeling? Because you're concerned. You say this. I'm sensitive. looking. I'm looking. I'm looking at what he's doing. This is elite shit. I'm looking. I'm not blind. I'm not blind. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes today. I saw it. I so, saw it. 26 so, for 35 for 404 and four TDs. So let me ask you a question. I saw it. So, so if a guy, so if, let's just say for the sake of argument, guy goes, uh, you know who has, so who has the most receiving yards in a game? Clipper Anderson. 339, right? Yeah. Is he elite? Were the elite? I'm not sure. He just had a great game that day. Oh! <laughs> you see how you did that, Ocho? You see how you did that? Thank you. I, I, okay. I see now you make my point. There's levels to this. I, I see what, I see what yeah. you're doing. He's, yeah, you just level to it, but Dak is doing it consistently. When? Yeah. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. We're in week nine. Look at his numbers throughout the season. I all I know. Uh, look at his number. Look at his numbers week to week. I would. I would look at the numbers at Arizona. I would look at the numbers in San Francisco. I would look at the numbers in the Eagles. At some point in time, hey, them big numbers is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said you said early in the season when they were losing, right? When you when your defense is not getting you turnovers and taking the ball back for you. And you got to score points. So now the offense and Dak is scoring points. We got points. 25. Now we got 25 now, alive. Now, Go ahead. Now it's still, we got who? We got 25 live viewers right now. Hey, hey, y'all. I love y'all. We, we giving that 250K <laughs> away in a minute. But now the offense is scoring points. Yes. Now you're moving the goalpost. No. And that's another issue. Ocho, Ocho. No, listen to what I said. I said the offense was scoring, but the defense was giving them short fields. Special teams was giving them short fields. Let me, can you give me a give me a, a DeVito's numbers today? What? DeVito, because at one point, they, at four one minutes point, in the fourth quarter, they had seventeen yards passing. Really, Ocho? Yeah, really, seventeen yards passing? Really, Ocho? In the so, NFL game, seventeen yards passing. I think four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. You making my point, Ocho? You don't, unbeknownst to you, you didn't even realize, but you're making my point. Yeah, I'm trying to show you the difference in why Dak is elite because he wouldn't have no goddamn 17 goddamn yards passing. So you basing Dak against Danny DeVito, I mean Tommy DeVito. Really, Ocho? Is that what we going to do? 
Is who, that who, what we're going to do? Who did, who did the Cowboy play today? The Giants. Thank you. Who's the quarterback for the what, Giants? What they, the today? Little Giants. That movie, who, the, movie <laughs> the movie, the Little Giants. That's who they played today. Who was the quarterback for the Giants today? Tell me DeVito. Okay. That's what that's what was out there. That's who was going against Dak. That's what you Dak is in no Dak is in no control of that. <laughs> he can't control who he has. He has to go out and do his job. The fact that what's his name? Tommy DeVito? No, the one who got hurt towards ACL. Who? Jo- Josh who? Today no, is the Dave game? No, no, I'm talking about the Giants quarterback that got hurt. Oh, you talk about uh 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 Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. I'm talking about Josh. Oh yeah, okay. If if Daniel Jones was there, you think you think the results would have been different? No, because I don't think he's that good either. Okay, I just want I just, Ocho, I just want to see what you're gonna say. Ocho, dude with 14 of 27, 86 yards, two touchdowns and a pick, 86 yards in an NFL game. Well, that was better than uh, 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 a week ago because he was minus one yard. He had he had less yards than me, passing than me, and I ain't leave my house. So what does that tell you about the New York Giants? They're not good. <laughs> They're not good. <laughs> They're not good at all. And think about whoa, they, whoa. Whoa. what does that tell you about the importance of the quarterback position in the NFL on why Dak is elite? It's the most important position of all the sports, but that don't mean just because somebody's playing good, that don't mean he's elite. I don't think Dak is elite. So we're going we gonna to move it along. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for over donating. Over a thousand dollars tonight. The bill. What? We got a thousand dollars donated already. Well, we hey, listen. Thank you. I know y'all watching. I'm telling you, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to get the unk. We're going to start. We get, you know what? We giving away 250k. I don't care. I don't care. We finna y'all bless y'all. Y'all don't listen. Don't listen, to Ocho. We, we gonna we gonna bless y'all. Coach Belichick. There's something that happened in the Patriots game today. Uh, against the uh the Colts, yeah. Mac Jones threw an interception in the fourth quarter near the end zone, uh, and Coach Belichick benched him, inserted Bailey Zappi in the final one fifty two, and then Zappi threw an interception after a fake spike, a fake snap. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't get what Coach Belichick is doing. I don't. Did he try to pull like like that a Dan, Dan Marino, Marino fake snap and throw it, and he yeah. got picked off? Mm-hmm. Do you know how I'm not going to use the word traumatizing? Do you know how demoralizing it is for your confidence to be benched just in general, but to be benched three times? Three times. Your starting quarterback benched three times. You have no confidence. Zero. At all. Well, Zero. He ru- well, he ruined him last year when he inserted defense, a, a special teams coach mm-hmm. and a defensive coordinator as his right. offensive coordinator. And yeah. neither one had ever called an offensive snap. But right. see, that's the arrogance of Coach Belichick. Because see, that's when you think you're so arrogant, you're so good, it doesn't right. matter. Right. See, he always thought it was his system. He didn't realize how good the players that he actually had. Mm-hmm. Those guys, the Ty Laws and the Willie McGinnises and the Richard Seymours and the Rodney Harrison and the Teddy mm-hmm. Bruskis and the, and the Vince Woolfolks, those guys, the Asante Samuels, those yeah. guys were really, really good. He thought it was his system. He didn't realize how good Edelman and well, obviously Brady goes without saying, but right. he didn't realize. And you and people look at those guys, and because they're not Reggie White, and because they're not Jerry Rice, and because they're not this, well, and no, 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 they fit perfect for that system. System. And now he doesn't have that talent caliber player. That system is still there. The Patriot way is still there. Unless, mm-hmm. unless they move the Patriots where they practice right. at, where right. they play at, where the building is at, everything is still in place except the caliber of players that he right. used to get. And what I, what I really think it is, again, I'm going to go back to the quarterback <laughs> position and importance and understanding the centerpiece that was always there. So if you look at the Patriots over the pad to let the previous 20 years yes. when Tom Brady was there, if you understand the centerpiece, Brady was always there. Everything else was interchangeable. Yes. Year in and year out. Everything yes. always continues to change except that one centerpiece. So I think really the Patriot way and the system that Belichick had in place, it went hand in hand because he had a special centerpiece in Tom Brady that made everything go. Yes. 
need everything goes. So yeah. it didn't matter what changed around him. As long as Brady is there, that Patriot way and that system was able to function at a high level, regardless of what came in and what went out. Yes. He, they had really good defenses. And what could mm -hmm. happen is that Brady might not be playing his best game, mm -hmm. but the defense would hold, make you settle for field goals instead of getting the ball into the end zone. They would get right. a costly turnover. And then yeah. Brady would always, Brady was always great at finding a way to win the game. To win. Yeah. Be it yeah. touchdown or getting them in field goal range. And then he had Adam Vinatieri, who's a, a, a well, an all time to all century team. They had Goskowski, who did a great job until he missed that that PAT in Denver, and it shook his confidence. But he had you're right; they had some really, really good players. I'm not saying any of those guys were Bruce Smith or Derek Thomas or Ray Lewis or Ed Reed, but they didn't have to be. Right? They had parts, and that part made up a tremendous unit. But, but they had the big Joker which was Tom Brady. And he could overcome a lot. A lot. Coach Belichick is still standing up there, being smug, being arrogant. But that's but just he, him. That, that's just him, though. But guess what? That's just him. But guess what? You ain't got that dog behind you to back that bull jive up. Now, right. eventually, guess what? See, you got to win to keep people listening to what you got to say. Right. So – Based on his history and what he's done in the past and being able to win so much throughout the years, it doesn't matter. Does that all that's out the window now? No. This is pro sports. You're paid to win. In pro right. sports, you don't get lifetime deal. Coach K got a lifetime deal. Uh uh Pat rest us old Pat Summit got a lifetime deal. Coach mm -hmm. Smith get a lifetime deal. And as mm -hmm. long as you don't become what Bobby Knight became, you can stay in those places for perpetuity. Okay. In okay. pro sports. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because I, I guess what? We paid you for that. Mr. Kraft has paid that man handsomely. Now, right. when I'm paying you, I'm paying you based on what you're going to do. I don't pay you for what you did. Well, listen, I think Mr. Kraft has to also understand if you look at your roster and look what, what Belichick has to work with, especially he picking the quarter, them. quarterback position. Coach Belichick picking them. Every player that comes through that door, you're there for one reason. Why are you there, Ocho? You was in that organization for a year. If you go to New England, why are you in New England? To win. No, 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 no. I, I, know, I know why you're there, but who put you there? Mike Brown. Uh, no, no, Mike Brown. No, no, Mike Brown. He's in, he's in what you call him? He's in, he's in Cincinnati. There ain't no Mike yeah, Brown. He, he put me there. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You can't trade. You can't make a trade to a team if the team doesn't accept the trade. You and I both know everything that comes in or out of New England, it has Coach Belichick's blessing. From the mm -hmm. paper clips to the stapler to the mm -hmm. fax machine to the mm -hmm. emails, nothing goes in or out without that man's blessing. So don't yeah. give me about the level of talent of Smith because he's picking a talent. He said he wanted to cook the grocery. He wanted to buy the grocery. He wanted to make the dish. Wait, wait, but the difficult, the difficult part, like the difficult part that you are missing in order for that train to keep rolling, you got to have a quarterback. You have to have a good, efficient quarterback. Pick them. Who, Who's picking the quarterbacks, Ocho? You know how hard, you know how hard it is to find a, a good quarterback? Do you know how difficult that is? You just said it yourself. It is never a bunch of elite quarterbacks at one time in the NFL. It's never, oh, never, it never is. So and now. Just so, you got you got lucky with Tom when you had when you had Drew Bledsoe. So let now, me you, so now maybe, you haven't been lucky. So we may need to take some of that credit that we was giving Coach Belichick and give a little bit more of it to Tom Brady. I think we were. I think everybody was giving it to Tom Brady anyway because Tom is the one that nope. made that train. I mean, you, you. I mean, if you watch if you watch football and understand the game, you know, even the casual fan can see it was more Brady than it was Belichick. No, but here's the thing. Who was picking those? Who was picking the Gronkowskis? Who was picking the Vince Woolfolks? Who was picking the, the uh, 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 those guys? Who was picking the Richard Seymours? Who was picking the, the Julian Edelmans? Who was making the trade for Wes Welker? Who was, who was bringing in Amendola? Who was drafting all those guys? So basically what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing is he has a thing for eye and understanding and knowing talent and has been doing his justice, do justice for Robert Kraft and that organization 
And just now, all of a sudden, the picks he's been getting just haven't panned out. Yeah. They haven't panned out the way he want them. This was before your time. But if you go back and look at, it reminds you a lot of the Cowboys. I know you don't remember the Cowboys came into existence in 1960. And when, yeah, they, I start, remember. And when they started drafting, they was knocking it out the park. They were just getting Hall of Famer after Hall of Famer from Bob Lilly to Randy White. They were drafting Harvey Martin and Ed Tutal Jones, and they drafted Roger Staubach and, and mm -hmm. Tony Dorsett and Tony mm -hmm. Hill and Drew Pearson and, and Billy Joe Dupree and this one and that one. And you start to get seduced. You start to get high on your own supply. You think you can do no wrong. And right. all of a sudden, you start to take more and more risk, and you start to take more and more gambles. And you see mm -hmm. Coach Belichick. You see what he do. They drafted two tight ends. Both of them gone. And you took one in the second round. I think you took one in the fourth round. Mm -hmm. And see what happens is that there are no, you don't get a Richard Seymour. You don't get a Logan Mankins. You don't get a Vince Woolfolk. You don't get a Julian Edelman in the seventh round who exceeds all expectations. Expectations, yeah. You don't uh, uh, Amendola or you trade for a Wells worker who's underused at Miami and say, you know what? I think he'll make a great slot, a great slot receiver for Tom Brady, and you're a Rob Gronkowski, and you drafted that that maniac from the University of Florida who was sensational, Aaron Hernandez, but he was warped in his head. You see, yeah. He's still the same guy. Yeah. What is he picking out with his eyes closed? What's going on, Ocho? I mean, are, 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 is the product is the product still the same that that was that was coming out back then that it that than it is oh, now? The, the players are still there because look at look at some of the players that he passed that went to other teams that are doing tremendous. Yeah. That, that's uh, the that, thing. That's, yeah. That's, that's, but when, Ocho, when you put it like that, when you put Ocho, it like that, that that's crazy. Ocho, you can't, I mean, bro. They've had 20 years, Mr. Kraft, mm -hmm. and I don't understand because you, Ocho, you know, once you start winning, all you want to do is win. Win, that's it. They've yeah. had an unprecedented run that you're probably never going to see again in the history, not in our lifetime. Now, nah. we might, I, we might, I know for certain I'll be dead and gone, but you're never going to see a 20 year run like what you saw in New England. Nine Super Bowl appearances, six Super Bowl wins. In a 20-year span, that's basically they're going every other year to the Super Bowl. Let that sink, Ocho. Let that sink in. What about the Chiefs? You don't you don't think you don't think Reed and Mahomes could pull that off? What you they've think? gone, they've gone at three and six years. They feel they so they got they got a they got another six appearances they need to get to and another yeah. three wins. And you know how hard it is because an injury here, an injury there, and there boom. it changes everything. Because think about it, Tom Brady missed a year. Hell, the way they were rolling, they might have went back. Yeah. Because they went, that, that's they when, went um, 10 and 6, Matt Castle Matt, stepped Matt in. Castle, Matt Castle took over, yeah. They, they still, went they 10 and 6 with Matt Castle. Yeah. I remember that. Missed the playoffs. But uh, I, 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 for me, Ocho, I just – and and, that, and people have been – and I, hell, I think that's probably one of the reasons because I had, I had no problem – Calling questioning some of the decisions that Coach Belichick made. Right. I just think in that situation, I don't. There, there is no upside. You know what Bailey Zappi is. The likelihood. What's the likelihood of him coming off the bench cold in that mm -hmm. situation, leading you to a victory, Ocho? Right. And and making a change. If I, you want, I, I, if, I don't know. Ocho, if you want to make a change, the next game say, you know what, we're gonna go with Bailey Zappi. I'm cool with that. But, but they on the bye week. They on the bye week this week. What do you think they're gonna do? You think they're gonna make a change? That's from this okay. point on for the rest of the season. You want to you want to go in, go into the bye week, give him some extra reps, come out of the bye week. Bailey Zappi, your starter, right. no problem whatsoever with that. Okay. But in that situation with one fifty two to bring him off the bench, Cole. I so can you don't you don't you don't you don't like the call then? No, hell no, hell no. Oh, Joe, check this out. B. John Robinson brought 114 family members and friends to watch him play, bust them in from Tucson. What's the most people you ever brought to a ball game? Ooh, about seven. Six. About seven. Oh, whoa, whoa! The most to a ball game? Yeah. You know what? I know, I know, I know. Them boys gonna see this. All, all, all my obviously. You know, I'm from I'm from Liberty City, yeah, Dade County. So you played in Miami. Yeah, I had some fellas, some fellas I grew up with, 
uh, on 50th Street and some fellas off, or we call it Alley. You know, we call it call them Alley Boys. Very, very good friends of mine. We all grew up together. We all played football together. And I think the most I ever brought to a game was all of them at once, maybe about about 40, just so they can get an opportunity to experience me play in person. I think I did it maybe maybe three times, maybe three times in 11 years, just, just to be able to to have them in the crowd, man, to enjoy the city, enjoy the games, and yeah, Ocho. just just three times. Ocho, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even think I know 114 people. You think it's really 114 people? Or That's what he's exactly? saying. He said he brought 114 family members and friends to watch him play. I got 20. I did 20. I got, That's a lot of people. I brought 20, and that was from uh, uh, when I went to Atlanta. Even when mm -hmm. I played in Jacksonville, you know, we played in Jacksonville when I went to Baltimore. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. We played in Jacksonville, and that's two hours from where I grew up. Atlanta's three hours from where I grew up. 20 tickets was the most I ever bought. Yeah, 40, 40, 40, 40 is my limit. And anytime, anything after that was it was it was it was five or less. Five or less. And it, yeah. it was always my it was always my same homeboys. The same homeboys that I met in Cincinnati. I had a friend of mine. I got lost my first day there. When I got drafted, I got lost. I, I met a dude that asked him for direction in 2001. I'll never forget. Jermaine Boyd, very good friend of mine, still to this day, 23 years later. I say, bro, I'm lost. I just got here, just got drafted, and I don't know where I'm going. And he had to give me directions. He gave me directions ever since that, you know, ever since that that day, you know, we exchanged numbers. We've been cool ever since. And and from that point, there were four other guys that he knew, and we've been like, like the goddamn five horsemen ever since. Mm -hmm. And they would they would come to every game, and and that was it. Now outside of them, you know, the kids coming. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really count that. Right. But outside of that, man, that's it. I did it three times where all my homeboys from from the from the hood. I hate saying that word. All my homeboys from Liberty City. Who, we, came who I grew up with. Play. Yeah, who I grew up with. They came to watch me play. Yeah. That was fun. Those were some good times, man. Yeah. To have all yeah. them boys. Hey, um, let me tell you one quick story real quick. One time, you know, um, what do you call it? I think it's called Sam's. We went to a music store. I had all them boys come in town. Yeah. You know, we like the Junkanoo. You know about the Junkanoo? You don't know about the Junkanoo, huh? Mm -mm. Man, that? listen, all 40 of them boys came in town, right? So we all went to the mall. We got everybody got Timberlands. We got Timberlands and we went to the music store. Got the cowbells, the whistles, drumsticks. Um, dude, they came in the family section. 40 of them, dude, dreads, mouth full of golds. Man, they had them cowboys and them cowboys and whistles and had the stadium rocking. Dog, they took over the whole stadium. Dog. That was a moment I will never, ever forget, Unc. Man, that was you, the greatest you, feeling, man. You turned the football game into a soccer match. Man, basically, that's what it was. Man, they had the whistles up there blowing. They had the Cowboys. They had the Cowboys going, and then they had the Tims on. And, and like, like step, dog, that shit was amazing, man. I, I miss those days. Them were some fun days, man. Ocho. Yeah. We got a winner. Wait, who, who, who winning? We got a winner for tonight, the 2500. Little Tank, Lil Tank. Lil Tank, Tank? Make sure, Lil Tank, make sure wait, you wait, wait, wait. Are they old enough? You ain't even checked the age. You talk about Lil Tank. Well, he don't hear that. That's between him and his mom, his dad, or his grandma, or somebody. Lil, he, he a rapper? He, Lil Tank? He yeah. rap? Well, he, little, he say Lil Tank. Lil Tank, make sure you put your email address and your IG username in the chat, and we'll reach out. Congrats to Lil Tank. Man, little, little tank, tank gonna be one? little little tank, but hey, little tank got twenty five hundo on it. Yeah, but I have a question, huh? Yes, I I, I like what we're doing. I like where we're going with this. But how do you know about the age of little tank? I mean, how, how does that work? Are you Ocho. are we going? Are we Ocho. able to verify? Ocho, we giving away money. We ain't giving away no liquor, no weed. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just saying. I just just to make. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, can we? All right, I, I got one more thing just yeah. to make it again in this economy that we're in. You know, I'm all about helping and, and, and wanting to bless people. Do you think we can we can up the ante and doing this multiple times a month, or you want to just stick to once a month? You said we, I think, I think uh, a couple of times a month we can do it. That's what I, but, I but, but like I, I love, said, I, 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 think I, love move, I think moving forward, what we're gonna do, yes, sir. we're gonna have five people win 500 okay. each time. So so five people and give away five hundred to each yep. person. Yep. See, that's why I fucking love you. I, yep. Ooh, that's you, what we're gonna do. Hey, you right. What we're gonna do. 
right here. I mean, we know you we got we got to pay it forward because they they're helping us grow at an yeah. alarming rate. And right, so right. uh, you know, to show our appreciation, we're going to mm -hmm. give it back. Nobody OJ, else you, is doing that. Nobody, nobody else is doing that. They're going to try to start, but they're not going they're going to be able to. Nah, they, nah, nah, nah. They and if they try to start, if they if they, they try to start, we we're, we're up the ante. Check we're, this out, Ocho, check this out. Jimbo Fisher got fired <laughs> by Texas A&M. His buyout is 77 million. And there's what? no offset language, which means he's going to get all 77 million. And if he becomes a head coach at another institution, he gets that money also. Mm. It's the largest buyout in college football history. The previous largest was Gus Malzahn at Auburn at 21 million. So if you buy him out, that's 77 million. You've mm -hmm. got to buy his staff out. Mm. And now you've got to bring a staff in. And got to pay them too. So that lets you know the kind of booster and the kind of deep pockets that A and M got. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Any of those Power Five schools, listen, the, the money, the money run deep. It run deep like a goddamn well, man. It, it it run real deep. But the fact that can you imagine being a coach and getting fired, and then really not caring? They paying you seventy seven something million not to come back and not to coach no more. So Ocho, that's crazy. So he gets nineteen million. He gets a little over nineteen million immediately. And then beginning 120 days after the termination, he gets an equal annual payments mm -hmm. all the way to December 31st, 2031. Well, you ain't got you ain't got to do nothing a day in your life ever again. And guess what, Ocho? He in Texas. Mm -hmm. They ain't got no state income tax. What? Yeah. So he get to see he get to see all that, huh? All of it. He get to see you know, well, state well know, uh, uh after you get to a certain up, you get over <laughs> six hundred thousand. It's 37. I think he's in the 37% bracket. So right. 37%, you're taking 37%. So he's gonna bring out of every million six hundred and thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. And you know what's funny? With that. And he's gonna he gonna coach again too. Oh, for sure. Oh, he's gonna coach again too. Cause that, that ain't just no it ain't just no anybody. Right. He just know anybody. He's someone, he's someone with a resume, a resume that's extremely good. He won a national championship. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's gonna coach again. Because here's the thing, Ocho. It wasn't like he had a bad record. He had a bad record for what they were paying him and what they expected from him. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. said, look at what we did. They have 102, anywhere between 100 and 105,000 every home game. You right. got boosters. God, damn. They got boosters that got deep pockets. Yeah. And so they're saying, for what we're paying you and mm -hmm. the facilities and what and, and, and the recruiting arm that we have, right. this ain't good enough. Mm -mm. For us not to be in the, the uh, uh, national championship discussion, for us right. not to have played in the SEC championship, for us not to, not to, they say, look, our pocket's deeper than Georgia. Our pocket's deeper than Alabama. We deeper than Ohio State. We deeper than Michigan. Well, they need to open up their pockets for the for the students. Oh, they got the players. They, oh, they do. Oh, they do. Okay. Remember, you remember they had the number one recruiting class in 22. But what the hell is the problem? They thought it was Jimbo. That's why they got his ass up out of there. <laughs> That's what the problem. That's what they believed the problem was. Right, 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 right. And right. so they made the decision that athletic director said he talked to the, uh, I think, uh, the president, mm -hmm. and he says, uh, "I got a question. Yes do do the higher ups ever consult with the players on the team? No, no or is that that's no. that's how do they pay grade? No, no yeah, man, he can look here." He kids, Ocho, you know kids you going to don't college. Think they care. They try look here. They try <laughs> they they try to get to the next they try they try to go to the NFL. Right. That's just the means to it. That's a stop off. That's a layover. Right. That's a layover from them from high school right. to the NFL. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you got the layover, Ocho. Like if I'm going yeah. a lot of times you go up from one place, you got the layover in Atlanta, or you right, got a right. layover in Minneapolis, or you got a layover in Detroit to get to mm -hmm. your original your uh, uh your destination. Right. That's all college is for a lot of these kids. Right. And, you know, in the NBA, NBA it used to be you go straight from high school to, you know, to NBA. Now yeah, you, you got to, you know, one, you got to go one year first. One year. That's, that's just right. a layover for them kids. They go to Duke or, or, or Kentucky or one of these, you know, prominent institutions. They just mm -hmm. laying over Ocho. They're not trying to do anything, man. Right. I got you. I got you. I and got they, you. like, look, that's what you can. 25% of the total buyout is due to Fisher in a lump sum within 60 days of termination. Mm. 
So uh, about nineteen million dollars to do with in sixty days, two months. Man, tell they him, might be. Tell him, they hey, might tell be him so those, Tell him throw some on the floor for me. I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I, I mean, look, that's a good that's job. Crazy. I mean, yeah. so what would what would you think they'll pay a Nick Saban or Kirby Smart? I bet they get fifteen to twenty million. A year? A year. Coach Saban already making 12. That's that, it? That's St. Nick. Hold on. Wait, somebody somebody Wait. make more than Saban, though. No, they don't. But here's the thing, Ocho. You think about it. What do you think Coach Saban playing for in Tuscaloosa? He ain't paying for a damn thing. Nah, nah. I, I just saw him. Did you see the did you see the graphic on all the stuff he owned? Yeah. He, going on, the car he just bought two more car dealerships for 700 mil. Where all that money coming from? Man, look here. When you win at them programs, yeah. Now they wanted like, hey, let's do business. Okay, I see where you're going with it. I see where you're going with it. I'm Just, with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with it you. It ain't what you know, it's who you know. No, yeah, that's a different ball game. That's why I tell guys, you go, if you go and play well in these cities, you never know. You know what? I like the way he conducts them. I like the way he carries himself. He's mm -hmm. a winner. How many deals you think? Uh, uh, Brady or Manning, and that's mm. what I say. That Ocho, if Dak wins one Super Bowl in Dallas, he'll be the richest black man in Texas. <laughs> he'll be the richest black man in Texas. <laughs> Just one. Yeah. Go look at the Roger Starbucks portfolio. Look at Troy's portfolio. Look at Tony Romo's portfolio. Now Tony Romo didn't win like like Roger and, and Troy, right. but he was box office. Mm -hmm. The pirouette, the improvisational, they loved it. Right, and he was undrafted. Dak has a better. Think about what Dak has overcome: lost his mom to cancer, mm -hmm. lost his brother tragically, win a Super Bowl. Man, unbelievable, unbelievable huh? That could be king. That could be king of Texas. Hey, you know, un un unfortunately, Dak is king right now. But I, 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 I see where you're going with it, though. I see where you're going with it. They gonna get there, though. They gonna get there. So, little tank, thank you. He, hey, little tank, comment. What's up? What y'all want me to do with the cash? You know, save what? it. Save it. If you, if, if, if you, if you know what, break your mom off something. Break your dad, your grandma. Ask Tank how old he is. That man might not want to know. He Look might, not, old, he, he might be disappointed because he might not want his girl to know he got bread. You know, it's too late. Criminal, you know, criminal right around the corner. <laughs> criminal right around the corner. I ain't got nobody. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Hey, but what you? Hey, speaking of Christmas, mm -hmm. hey, you you got somebody? Never mind. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to get you in trouble. No, never mind. I, I reached out to my kids. Man, you know what? I, I reached out to my daughter. What they want? Can I tell you what my kids want? I, you tell I me already saw the list. Are. You saw the list? I did saw the list for one of your daughters. Lil yeah, Tank's listen, 23. Oh, 20? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lil Tank. Oh, that's 25 going to be good. That's that's right up yeah. his alley. Mm -hmm. All right, Lil Tank. Listen, my daughter, one of my daughters want a vending machine. What you going to put it at? She want a vending machine to put on campus at Prairie View a and <laughs> no, I'm I'm serious. She won a vending machine to put on campus at at uh Prairie View AM. And I like the idea. So I'm going to talk to uh I'm going to talk to the higher ups at AM to see if it's possible to do for her for her to have multiple vending machines on campus. For 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 women necessities. Get, get a see what happens. Get get a uh oh so a vending machine with women products, not vending yeah. machine with cola and chips and oh, snacks. Nah, 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 okay, nah, okay, nah, okay. Nah, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I like where I like I like where her head is at. So I'm 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 going to, um next week. I'm going to set up a meeting and okay. see if we could do that. I, yeah. I love that idea. I like what her mind is. Because then she won't have to be be in my pockets. Get I see a, you, baby. Get an ATM machine and put it on campus. Yo. Hey, how much is an ATM machine? It don't matter. Stock it with money, you got it. Yo, that's a good idea, huh? Ask somebody in the chat how much ATM machine is. 
I should get one for my son so we could put it at Arizona State. Somebody probably will ever beat you to that one, but I think Prairie View uh, might be a great chance. Oh, that's a good one. Man, guys, we had over 20,000 in our chat tonight. Thank you for clicking that subscribe button. Thanks for clicking the like button. Guys, you guys have been unbelievable. We are growing at an alarming rate, and it's all because of you guys. You like the content. You like the back and forth between Ocho and I, and we greatly, greatly appreciate it. Bigger things to come in the future. So oh, thank yeah. you for tuning in. We'll be right back tomorrow. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. Where you going? We leaving? Yeah, we leaving. I got to go to work. No, I know we got to go to work, but that ain't how we signing off. That ain't how we sign off now. Oh, oh hold on. I gotta go yeah, on. yeah, let's go. We got we got our song now. Don't do that. We got to ask uh, Lil Tank, make sure you comment your, your email at IG. Lil Tank, now if you want this bread now, you got to make sure you give us your email or your IG because we got to get the info. <laughs> now, I hate for somebody else to get your blessing. <laughs> bless, uh, bless you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, Lil Tank, please make sure you give us your email or your IG so we can contact you. We can put this uh this blessing on you. Come on, uh, Tank. Lil Tank. Uh, okay. Ocho, what's Yo, the song? The song, like last week, the yep. end of the show, is My Way, Frank Sinatra. Hold on, let me get let me get, get let me get my little tea so I sound right. Hold on. Baby. Baby. I I I I I I I I you gotta let me know you're ready I'm ready when you are baby you up she said no you ready I'm ready when you are with you you know you know the words right they're my way not really but I'm gonna see and now be and now the ear is here and so I face the, the final, final curtain, curtain. My, my friend, friend I'll, I'll say make, it clear I'll make it clear but okay I'll go ahead. state my, my case, case of which, which I'm, I'm certain, certain. I've, I've lived, lived a, a life that's full, full. I travel each and every highway, highway and more, more. Much, Much more, more than, than this, this. I, did I it. did it my way. <laughs> yeah. Way to go, huh? Way to go. Way to go. I yeah. think, Ojo, we need, yeah. we go, we go, we go, we go, we go do, you know what we going to do? We go hit gospel. I mean, Wait, I tonight think, or, tonight no, or uh, tomorrow? tomorrow? Tomorrow, we go close yeah, with tomorrow. the gospel. We, tell me what song you want to do tomorrow. Uh... You know what? We're going to sing Rough Side of the Mountain. What you know about that? On the rough side of the mountain. Oh, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Coming up, up. I'm coming. Hey. On, On the rough, the rough that was, side. We're going to save it to the bar. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, the thank, you. thank you for clicking that I'm subscribe doing button. Win my. <laughs> well, don't get me started now. We, we go to church now. Thank you. Thank you for clicking that subscribe button, the like button. Thank you again. I'm your favorite sports uncle, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, Cincinnati Bengals legend. We're signing off. See you tomorrow. I love y'all.